For years, Americans have watched as their corner bookstores disappear. But Symposia Bookstore in Hoboken, New Jersey is approaching 14 years of selling used books to the community. So we started Symposia uh, with the intention of creating a living room for, the, for Hoboken, a place where people can come and mingle and uh, have fun and um, that's why we uh, wanted to be independent and non-profit. People donate books here and we sell them online and in the bookstore so that we can cover our expenses. Ruju says Symposia survives on the support of the community, especially from former Hoboken Mayor David Roberts, Symposia's landlord, who gives them a break on the rent. We couldn't manage to stay in business just uh, with donations from the community. So that's why we um, came up with the idea of having a program for children. Uh, Hoboken has a myriad of children, so uh, we started with a story hour, reading a book. We have a lot of children books here. And slowly we added a puppet and a prop and some musical instruments. And now we have a full-blown puppet theater for babies and toddlers. Since Symposia opened its doors, borders collapsed and a Barnes & Noble store just a few blocks away shut down, something that's actually weighed on the business. They would buy from Barnes & Noble books and they didn't have room to store them and then donated it to us. So when the nearby real bookstores closed, it started to decline, the donation amount started to decline. In fact, after years of consistent revenue, Ruju says last year revenue actually declined, something she also attributes to trends in technology. I think the main threat to our business is the uh, the e-readers, the e-books that invaded the market and take the readers from our hard books and I guess the publishing houses, for them it's cheaper to make e-books than hard copies. Retail sales at bookstores were down 6.8% year over year in February 2014, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. To combat declining sales, Ruju has expanded Symposia into becoming much more than just a neighborhood bookstore. I specialize in yoga. In the evening, this becomes a yoga studio. I free up, I have all the props there, and we have a curtain, and I'm trying to be as diverse as possible. <laughs> she believes no matter how prevalent e-readers become, there will always be a need for bookstores like Symposia. For The Street, I'm Brittany Umar in Hoboken, New Jersey.